Hey, I want to follow up on the video I posted the other day, which is about a shortage of shipping containers worldwide. So these are what are used to transport goods, especially by boat overseas. And you have everywhere from China having a shortage of shipping containers to the US not being able to export goods to even places like Europe having problems with this. And part of the issue seems to be that the demand for shipping containers is so high in China that countries trying to export stuff to China aren't even getting a chance because the value of the container getting back to China as quickly as possible is much higher than the export value of the goods. I found this article in Supply Chain Dive, which was linked from the Wall Street Journal, and I think it clears up a few more of the reasons why we're seeing these shipping container shortages. And this one zooms in on the port of Los Angeles. So this is where container ships come in to Los Angeles for import and export of goods. First, I wanna talk about what's going on with the supply chains within the US domestically. So it seems like things are backed up all over the place right now. So it's probably pretty obvious that a lot of factories and manufacturing facilities are short staffed because they're worried about COVID, they have to follow social distancing guidelines, and they have to uh, partially shut down part of their workforce because somebody might have gotten sick and they wanna try to avoid spreading the COVID to their entire workforce. So even though we do have a lot of goods that seem to be ready for export, but they're not able to get them on the ship because they'd rather turn around the container, well, there are also a lot of goods that should have gotten to the ship, but never were able to get there because the distribution center is backed up or the supply is limited. One nuanced part of this issue is that when containers are imported, they don't just immediately get unloaded and then they get reloaded for export. Well, they're actually moved inland via truck or train. And the problem is it seems like a lot of these containers are getting stuck at manufacturing facilities that are backed up or distribution centers that are backed up. So they're not unloading them and they're just sitting in the parking lot or sitting at the loading dock and they should be going back to the port, but they're not. So there's an obvious answer for you right there that containers are getting backed up. And indeed, there's this line right here, strained resources have slowed equipment returns to the port but vessels are eager to turn back to Asia as soon as possible to shuttle containers to points of origin where they're in enormous demand. In other words, in China, containers are in enormous demand. Another aspect of this is that the port itself is having issues. So right here in the second bullet point, um, there are terminal dwell times, there are street dwell times, and truck turn times. All of these are going up to much higher than they are. So things are actually sitting at the port much longer because there's like a traffic jam there. So it's slower to move goods around. So this only makes it more likely that they wanna export empty containers because they're sitting there so long not getting used because the port is effectively holding on to them. Now one thing that the Port of Los Angeles is trying to do is to do these dual transactions where if a truck comes to the port to drop something off, that truck should also leave the port with a full container. How well this works, I have no idea, but it's very interesting to see. And the last aspect of this that I wanna zoom in on is that compared to last year, trade volumes are way, way up. Now I think it's pretty obvious why this is happening. Earlier this year, a lot of the supply chains were really backed up. So a lot of the imports that would have come in the earlier part of the year were delayed to later in the year and now we're getting down to the holiday shopping season so the companies are doing everything that they can to get those goods here fast so right here in the article it says that imports last month were up 29 percent over last year's inputs and that's really interesting because even last year the imports were way up over previous years in the summer so the import volumes are really, really high for this late part of the year. And next week, which would be the Thanksgiving Black Friday week, they anticipate a 41% increase over last year, the same week. So you can see how strained the ports are. So I think here's another answer as to where these containers are. They're not only on the ships going straight back to China empty, they're also stuck inland either at the port or in distribution centers where they're not getting completely unloaded as quickly as they normally would due to COVID. I also want to quickly bring up this article from Flexport. Now Flexport is a really high-tech supply chain company that's making it easier to ship your goods internationally because you have more visibility into where things are at any given moment. And one of the things that Flexport does is they provide a freight market update every week. 
So this is very nerdy for the supply chain people, but it's very helpful. And I have these highlights here that says for pretty much every origin and destination, the costs of shipping right now are increased compared to what they normally would be. And you only have a few exceptions where the rates are staying steady, which would be Northern Europe to North America, and you have North America to Europe. But everywhere else, things have increased, whether it's America to Asia, Asia to America, Asia to Europe, Europe to Asia. All of these routes are more expensive right now than they normally would be, even for this time of year. So those were all for shipping by sea, but if we also look at air freight, you can see that they bring up the same issue that we discussed in the last article, which was the handling times on the ground. So if you look at LAX airport, not only do they have problems at the seaport, they also have issues transferring goods at the airport. So everywhere is really backed up due to the coronavirus, due to things slowing down, and just the whole thing is a mess right now. I hope it's all gonna return to normal, but for right now, we just gotta stick it out. So thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.